Praying Book. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, I wanted to talk to you about planting flowers or um, even planting food, you know, like making a garden. So first, I want to talk about what the first thing we do is we get our, our seeds. We have our seeds here. Okay. Our seeds. We're going to plant four seeds in this picture, okay? So we're going to take these four seeds and we're going to put them in the dirt. So we'll put, so we'll take our seed and then we'll drop it into the hole, down into the dirt, okay? And then we'll make another hole right here and we'll take this seed, we'll drop it into that hole and put it into the dirt. Then another hole here. And take this seed and go down in here. And we'll put this seed right here. And then our last seed, oh look, I left a hole open right there. Our last seed will go down and we'll put it just like that into the dirt, okay? So now, once we have our seeds into the dirt, we have to water them. So then we get, then we get the garden hose. We get the garden hose. And it's plugged into the wall over here. Okay, so we get the garden hose and we get the water and the water goes onto the dirt and then it seeps down into the dirt and it wets all of our seeds. So we use the garden hose to water the dirt to wet all of our seeds. And then you know what happens next? Next we have, um, yeah, next we end up like this where our seeds start to open up and they make roots and then we have we have these little strings called roots right and so from those roots then our plant starts to grow and it comes up and it pops up out of the ground just like this and that is when our flowers start to grow. So now we have pretty flowers growing out of our roots. Just like this. So first we put our seeds in the ground, then we water them with the garden hose, and then our seeds grow. That sounds like fun, huh? So do you remember the story, the little red hen? When the hen put the seeds in the ground so that she could grow the wheat to make her bread? We're going to read that story. And then I have an exciting activity after that. So we're going to start with the little red hen, okay? Once upon a time, there were four friends who lived together in a barnyard. A dog, a goose, a cat, and a little red hen. The dog was a lively pup who loved to play all day. After all, he said, who will chase balls and do tricks if I don't? The cat was a handsome animal who liked to groom himself. After all, he said, who will take care of my good looks if I don't? The goose was a talkative bird who liked to gossip. After all, she said, who will share the news if I, of the day if I don't? And the little red hen, she just liked to figure out what needed doing and do it. One day, the four friends decided to move together to a cozy cottage near the river. They were very happy there. 
The dog played all day in their big front yard. The goose waddled to the farmyard each morning and always came back with new stories to share. The cat washed himself on the sunny windowsill. And the little red hen? She cleaned the house, worked in the garden, cooked the food, and did whatever else needed doing. Is it nice that nobody's helping the little red hen clean up? Hmm. One afternoon, the little red hen swept out the shed and found a bag of wheat seeds. Excited, she brought the bag back to the cottage. Look what I found, she said. Who will help me plant these seeds so that we can have wheat to make some bread? Not I, said the dog. I have to play with my stick today. Not I, said the cat. I have to groom my fur today. Not I, said the goose. I have to talk to the cow today. She has news about the goat. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll plant the seeds myself. And she did. She hoed the ground and planted the seeds and watered them well and pulled the weeds. Just like in our picture, we, we had to uh, plant the seeds first, right? And then we had to water them. Soon, a fine patch of wheat was growing tall in the sunlight. The wheat is ready for harvest, said the little red hen. Who will help me harvest it? Not I, said the dog. I have to bury my bone today. Not I, said the cat. I have to smooth my whiskers today. Not I, said the goose. I have a meeting with pig today. She says there's a scandal with the sheep. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll harvest the wheat myself. And she did. She cut the wheat, then gathered and tied it up in bundles. She stacked it outside. Now the wheat must be ground into flour, said the little red hen. Who will help me pull the wagon to the miller? Not I, said the dog. Today is the day I chase rabbits. Not I, said the cat. Today is the day I clean between my toes. Not I, said the goose. Today is the day the goat said he'd tell me a secret about cow. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll pull the wagon myself. And she did. She cleaned the wagon and loaded the wheat and went to the miller's down the street. The next morning, the little red hen was ready to bake. Who will help me make the dough, she asked. Not I, said the dog. I'm busy chasing my tail. Not I, said the goose. The dust might make it hard for me to talk. Not I, said the cat. The flower will muck my clean fur. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll make the dough myself. And she did. She gathered up eggs, milk, yeast, and flour, then mixed and kneaded for nearly an hour. She did a lot of work all by herself. Now, said the little red hen, though she already knew the answer. Who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the dog. It's time for me to take a nap. Not I, said the cat. I really must get my beauty sleep. Not I, said the goose. I absolutely must rest my voice. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll bake the bread myself. And she did. She built the fire, a difficult chore, and slid the pan through the oven door. She cleaned the mess that the baking had made and finally went out to rest in the shade. As the afternoon wore on, the wonderful aroma of baking bread drifted through the cottage. It tickled the noses of the napping dog, the sleeping cat, and the resting goose. They sniffed, they smiled, they opened their eyes. What is that heavenly smell? asked the goose. Why, it's just my fresh break, uh, baked bread, said the little red hen. Who will help me eat it? I will, said the dog, jumping up from his rug. I will, said the cat, leaping down from the windowsill. I will, screeched the goose, forgetting to rest her voice. Do you think they should get to eat some if they did not help it to make it? 
Hmm, I wonder. You will? asked the little red hen. But you let me do everything else. I hoed the ground and planted the seeds, and watered them well and pulled the weeds. I cut the wheat, then gathered and tied it up in bundles. I stacked outside. I cleaned the wagon and loaded the wheat and went to the miller's down the street. I gathered up eggs, milk, yeast, and flour, then mixed and kneaded for nearly an hour. I built the fire, a difficult chore, and slid the pan through the oven door. I cleaned the mess that the baking had made, and then, only then, did I rest in the shade. So do you know what? I think I'm going to eat this bread by myself. And she did. But the next time the little red hen needed help around the house, nobody said, not I. That's a really fun story. Is it nice to say not I? When your mommies and daddies ask you to help clean, do you say not I? No, we do our part, but we also um, do our part with planting, you know? with our putting our seeds in the ground and watering our seeds and letting our flowers grow. And I have some plants here that I need to put in the ground. Would you like to join me? So these are tomato seeds. And you can see my, my plants are ready to go. And if you look very, very closely, you can see some itty bitty little roots in there. And I also have cauliflower plants. And if you look really closely, let's see. Oh, right there at the very, very bottom. All those white strings, those are all the roots too. Those are ready for me to put outside. I do have some more seeds that we can actually plant though, if you'd like to help me. I hope you want to help me. I hope you're not home saying not I. This is going to be fun. So first we have to get our dirt. We have to get our dirt. And we have to cut it open. Somehow we cut it open. So we're going to get it open, okay, and then we're going to take a scoop and we're going to put a scoop of dirt inside of our cup. I've got a cup here. Ooh, let me put this down so I don't spill it everywhere. And we're going to put some dirt in this cup. Okay, so we have our dirt. Oh, we need dirt for this cup because I have watermelon seeds and I have some pumpkin seeds. So we're going to plant a couple of each seed and see what happens. Let me get a scoop of more dirt. So we have two cups with our dirt in them. And we're going to open our seeds, our watermelon seeds. And we're going to take a couple out. I've got three. Can you see those here? Let's see. I've got three seeds right there, okay? So, we're gonna put those three seeds down into the dirt.
I think I lost it. Okay. And then we've got some water that I was hiding. We're going to water it. Put some water in our dirt. And now we wait. Okay. And the same with this one. We get our pumpkin seeds. We take our pumpkin seeds. These are much bigger seeds. We take our pumpkin seeds. Can you see these seeds, friends? That's a pumpkin seed. And I'm going to put three of them in this cup. So I'll put one here, covered up, one over here, and cover it up. And one over here and cover it up. Okay, and we pour some more water in there so we can get our seeds to start growing. And I'm going to try and write on this. Oh, here's my, my, my pen right here. Pumpkin. And I'm going to write on this one. This one is watermelon. All right, and now we have to wait. But in the meantime, we need to take these and go put them outside. So come join me outside where we go put these in the ground. Are you ready? We're gonna take a trip outside. Okay, okay boys and girls, we're outside. We're in the, in the garden area. We're gonna put our plants in the dirt now. Okay. So we'll just pick a good spot. And uh, you can see that. We're going to pick a good spot. And we're going to put our And this dirt is still wet, so we actually won't have to water it because the dirt is still wet from the rain. All right, so there's that one. And we're going to put the other one right over here. Get this stuff out. I'll put the other one right here. Oh. Let me just put our little dirt all around it. And there we go. Now we've got those plants planted. There we go. So what happens now is now that we've got those and it's a very beautiful sunny day, when we are done, our plants will grow to be big and strong, just like what we have here. Can you see those plants? We have all of those plants. 
And when it's all big and strong, I'll have lots of fruits and vegetables that I can pick. And maybe I'll have somebody help me. And hopefully they don't say, not I, just like the cat and the dog and the goose. Thanks for joining me today on our planting adventure. I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.